let's talk about the relationship between the electrostatic force and the electric field. This is a very simple formula. Here's the electrostatic force, here's the electric field, and this is the charge. And notice it's a lowercase q, so we are including the polarity. And that's crucial, because if q is positive, then that means the electrostatic force and the E field are parallel to each other. So if Q is greater than zero, that means that the electrostatic force is parallel to the electric field. Okay. But if Q is negative, then the electrostatic force is anti-parallel to the electric field. And just so we're clear, this symbol here means parallel. This means anti-parallel. So it's important to write this formula using the vector notation because otherwise we'd lose all this, in, this directional information that I just went over. Okay. But it's important to understand how it looks like if you're not dealing with the directional side of it. In other words, if we're just talking about the magnitudes. If we're just talking about the magnitudes, well, then the formula becomes this. Then I just have Fe, no vector symbol, and that has to equal, and now I use a capital Q because I'm talking about the charge magnitude and, of course, just the E field as such without a vector symbol.